Hey guys, so today I have an update on my Project 5 Uses project pan. If you haven't watched this series that I have on my channel so far, I basically, quick rundown, I have a box next to me, this box, full of brand new items that I have not used yet. So this project is where I take an item out of this box and use it for five times and then we come on here and we review them so I have a few products that I have completed my five uses and let's see one two three four five six seven we have eight products to talk about today so we're just gonna jump in um yeah let's just let's just jump right in hop right in okay first um Let's see. Well, we have two face powders, so we'll just start with these. So the first one is the Cover Effects Face Powder, Cover Effects Perfect Pressed Powder in the shade Medium. And there is what it looks like. Um, I really liked this, actually. It's more of a foundation. Like, you could use this just as a foundation than just, like, a, like, setting powder. So this definitely has coverage to it. Um, I liked it, though. I think it worked great. You do have to blend it out pretty good. I would use like more of a fluffy brush if you just want it to like set your face. But if you want to use it as an actual foundation, I think you could do that as well. I liked it. Um, yeah, I liked it. And then the other face powder I have is a loose powder. This is the Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. And this is okay. You guys know I'm not really a huge fan of setting powder. This, of, um, loose powder. This smells really good, though. Um, you don't get much in here. So, like, it's, like, less than half. About half, I guess. Um, but I don't know. It just, like, barely covers the bottom. And, like, obviously I did not use that much product um that's kind of how it came but um sorry truck going by it was okay like I'll use it up um but yeah I'm just not really a huge fan of loose powder like I don't just set my under eye I don't do all that like I don't really brighten I don't conceal under my eyes like I just need to set my entire face put my foundation in place make me not sweaty and call it good so I prefer pressed powder, but this was okay. It's not something that I would buy, but I also probably wouldn't really buy many loose powders. Anyway. Okay, next. We have another complexion product, and it is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium. Um, actually, no. It's in the shade C6. It's Medium coverage is what it says um I like this we'll, I guess swatch it a little light right now um I think this had really good coverage I again like I said I don't ever just conceal under my eyes um I'll like swipe it on my cheeks my forehead my nose my chin I'll use it more as a foundation or like that's mostly how I use concealers or I'll just um like add a little bit to my cheeks or wherever for extra coverage or just like over like a blemish or something like that. Um, that's how I use concealers mostly. I don't ever brighten under my eyes. I don't ever do that. Um, so I like this for how I use it. Um, yeah, it was okay. It was pretty full coverage though. I really like, um, like I would use this more for adding additional coverage to a foundation like on my cheeks or wherever I think I need like additional coverage um I prefer a lighter coverage for like using it as a foundation so I like this I would probably buy this again um I got this at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like two bucks so I like it it was okay I like it um Next, before eye products, we have one lip product, and this is the Revolution Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish 
and here's what it looks like. This is the shade Birthday Suit. Um, and this is just a lip gloss. Lip gloss. And it's pretty, like, opaque, actually, and pretty, pretty pigmented. Um, I really like this color. Um, it's kind of like a Your Lips But Better color. And the formula of this is really nice. Like, it's really thick feeling and, like, really thick and creamy. Like, it almost feels like plastic. Um, but it's not sticky. So, I don't know. That was kind of cool. It's a different, um, texture. And it smells really good. It smells like vanilla. So, I liked this guy. Okay, next we have the rest is all eyeshadows. So, first we'll talk about my milkshake palette. This is from Face Candy. This is the Face Candy milkshake palette. This is a dupe for, um, I believe, a Too Faced palette. I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, if you know, let me know down below. But, here is what she looks like. I really like the formula of these palettes, actually. They're really, really powdery, but they're also really pigmented. So, I don't know. I like them. They blend really easy. They're really cheap, too. So, if you can find these palettes, I definitely recommend Face Candy or Bad Habit. I got them all from Shop Hush when that was a thing, but it's not a thing anymore. Um, maybe Amazon. I don't know. Um, but if you can find, like, the this brand, I recommend. I like it. I have this palette on my eyes today with, um, I have a glitter topper on as well. Don't look at my eyeliner, though, because I, like, effed that up. <laughs> um, but that is what we're looking like today. I used... For the most part, I use the matte creams interchangeably. They're basically the same. Um, one's just a little bit more yellow toned. And then I really love the shade Butterscotch. That's like a perfect, like, transit, like really warm tone transition. Um, Strawberry Milk, I really like that one as well. And then today, I, also, I have those two on today. Also with Cherry on top, the red. I have that blown out in the crease too. And on the lower lash line. Um, and then blend it out. I blend them out with the matte creams as well. Um, so I used those ones today. I also got a lot of use out of peanut butter, which is this one, and caramel for, um, like matte brown transitions. Um, root beer float, I think I used that once. I used black raspberry once, the purple, and then I don't think I used any of these dark shades at all. Um, so there's that guy. I'll do um, a few swatches to show you guys. Okay, so here's just a few. We have cherry on top, strawberry milk, and black raspberry. So they are really pigmented, but they are also really powdery. Um, but it makes it so that it can blend out really easy. And since this is such like a cheap, like affordable formula. I don't really mind if I'm like wasting a little bit of it because it's so powdery. Um, but that's just my thoughts. I like these palettes. Um, if you guys have tried out any of the Face Candy or Bad Habit brands, let us know your thoughts down below. Okay, last we have three, we have two Super Shock Shadows and one like very similar product. So we'll do ColourPop first. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Haze. This is an Ultra Glitter. And we ended up hitting pan on it. I hit pan on these really easy, so there is what she looks like. It's like a opalescent white that shifts. It has like a lot of hot pink glitter, and there's blue glitter. So it shifts from white to pink, and then there's also all that glitter in there as well. We'll give you guys a swatch. This one is a little bit more dried out than they usually are so I don't know if I just got one that's kind of dry but there is that right there it's just gonna look super pink and glowy um, with the Sun hitting it but I don't know I guess you can see right there it's kind of like a white and then it hits the pink and blue shift I liked this one it was really nice um, this was really pretty on the inner corner and just gave you like an extra little something on the inner corner, but I did also wear this um, all over the lid 
as well. And I love the Super Shock Formula, Super Shock Shadow Formulas. So, um, yeah. Next one is the shade Bill, and this is a matte. So this is the first matte um, Super Shock that I've tried. So the matte formula is a little bit of a different texture. I feel like it's a lot more creamy than the glitters or the satins. Um, it just feels more moussey, I feel like. So that is what it looks like. I did hit pan on this one as well, and I actually used like a really good chunk out of this. Um, I really liked it, but it just, it feels so cool. Okay, so right there is that color. It is like a really like mauve purple, um, but when you blend this out, it just looks really, really pretty. I was using this with my Pan Matte palette with the mauve tones in that palette, and I just really, really liked it. So this was really good as a base as well. So what I would do most of the time is I'd put my eyeshadow primer on, and then I would set that down with powder, and then I would put that on, and then like blend it out really good in the crease. I just use my finger. I didn't try it with a brush. I should have because um, I know a lot of people use those um, use brushes with the Super Shock shadows, and I've never tried that besides like putting it on my inner corner. Um, so I'll have to try that out at some point. But I really liked it. I think it helped my eyeshadow stay on for a really long time. I would put it all over the lid and up into the crease, like as a crease color. And then I would also just kind of use it as a base for my lid. Sorry, someone texted me. Um, yeah, I, so I liked that one. All right, so lastly, we have another like cream eyeshadow. This is the Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadow in Iced Latte. So this is very similar to the Super Shock Shadows. Um, I feel like it feels almost more like the matte one where it is just super creamy. That's what it looks like. I obviously hit pan right in the center. I wasn't trying to dig down. That's just kind of what it looked like. Um, I think I used a brush with this one for the inner corner a few times and that's why it kind of looks like that. But this is a really pretty gold right down there. Really, really sparkly. Um, yeah, I really liked this actually. I used this with um, my Pan Those Eyeshadows. So I used these with, like, I did a neutral look and then I put this on and it just, it was still neutral but it gave it like that really pretty like sparkle. So I really liked this guy. I have the pink one that I'm working on right now. That's what I have on my lids today is the pink one. Um, cotton candy I think is the name of it so this was just my first use of the pink one today and I like it I love the formula of these they're super easy they're very comparable to super shock the ColourPop shadows so honestly I probably wouldn't purchase the ace beauty ones because I feel like they're gonna be more expensive than the ColourPop ones and the ColourPop ones were great so those are my thoughts on this guy and that is everything that I have to share with you guys. So I do have a few products that are kind of on the edge of hitting that five use mark. I have a cream blush that I think has four already, four uses on it already. Um, this pink cream has one use. And then I have a highlighter that has three uses. Um, and I think a bunch of things have two uses. So we'll see. Um, hopefully it won't be too long before my next update. I am trying to, you know, work on my Project Pan, my Pan Lowe's eyeshadows, and my five uses. All the, like about the same amount. I really focus more on my Project Pan. And I also have my Shop My Stash that I'm trying to incorporate as well. So I have a lot of products going on, um, which is why some of my updates are kind of pushed back a little bit. But... Anyways, I'm going to put these products away so that we can pull them in Shop My Stash is coming soon. So, I hope you guys like this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. And check out my Project 5 Uses playlist that I have as well. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.